While I was living with my grandmother, I continued drawing on her wall and on the pages of my school notebooks. She didn't want me to draw on her wall and thought I was wasting good paper. So, she refused to pay for any new notebooks. Mohammed and I were next door neighbors when we were teenagers. We met through his niece, who was my classmate then. He and I used to exchange books through her. That was how our relationship started with books. It later turned into letter writing. I remember when Mohammed came to our home to ask for my hand in marriage and my relatives teased me saying, since he's a poet, he's definitely crazy. And as you paint, you're crazy too. So God only knows what will become of the two of you if you get married. In order not to have to deal with the authorities' decisions as to which work I may or may not display in an exhibition and to preserve my artistic freedom, up to now I have avoided exhibiting my work in galleries altogether. For the past six or seven years, no gallery in Iran has exhibited any of my work. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maryam Hosseinzadeh. I'm an Iranian painter. My husband, Mohammed Mokhtari, a renowned poet and a talented researcher, was brutally murdered in my country for standing up for human dignity and freedom. After his death, I decided that instead of mourning and crying, I would paint. It was a difficult emotional moment seeing his face for the last time. The painting helped me deal with my emotions at the time. It was scary when I suddenly realized that my new works contained much brighter and happier colors than the previous ones. I couldn't say how I was able to use such colors at such a dark and sensitive time.